there, my name is Lee, aka a 20 something loser, and this is another Stardew Valley submission. Are we surprised? Absolutely not. However, this is one of the newer categories that came with the most recent update, which came out about a month or so ago. Um, this is mayo percentage. Um, what does mayo percentage include? Um, well, it includes exactly what you may think it may be. Um, we are speedrunning to drink mayo as fast as possible. Um, here we go. In three, two, one. Alrighty, starting off fresh here. This is the brand new farm type that came in Stardew Valley 1.6, which is the Meadowlands farm. Um, we are going to sleep all the way until day five because that is our first mines day here. And as all speedrunners do, we take our bed and we chuck it over there and we zoom out as fast as possible. So one of the most important things that has come out of the Meadowlands farm is the fact that we get some chickens. However, uh, we're selling one. Oops, sorry. Um, and what we're going to do now that our gate is closed here is we are going to run ourselves to the mines. Um, that chicken will eventually grow up for us and will give us a an egg. Because that is what we need in order to make mayo. Um, until then, we're going to take our way to the mines. Because what do we have to do? We have to uh, make a mayo machine. So we're going to do that. Um, we make a mayo machine by getting level two farming, um, which we will do later. But for now, we need to get, grab the actual materials themselves to make uh, said mayo machine. Um, one of the biggest things that we're going to be looking for here in the mines is we're gonna be looking for what is called an earth crystal. So there's a little brown gem. And the fastest that we can grab that, which it's right there. Okay, all righty. We were feeling real lucky today, to say the least, before even, okay. Um, now that we've already acquired that, um, what we're gonna do is we are going to try and grab as much copper is possible. So we need 25 pieces of copper. I'm just going to check these crates. I will take an extra one of those. We do need copper and then we also need um, a piece or two of, of coal. There's our coal. We're going to take that and check it out because we don't need it. Um, and then in terms of our coal, we literally, in terms of our copper, we need 25. So we're going to keep going down here in the mines as quickly as we can. one we need like 10 more pieces thankfully our inventory is full so we don't have to worry about picking up anything that we don't want such as a geode there there's another earth crystal for us any copper that's not worth it for us to go down there we'll keep going again just looking for that copper there's a little bit. I'm gonna check these crates just in case. There's a light ring, but we thankfully won't need it. And grabbing our copper. And the second that we get 25 pieces of copper, we can leave the mines. We can get out of here. There's an extra two. Hopefully we can find This is gonna give us three. It did not. Never mind. We were so close yet so far. There we are. Please let this be enough. Perfect. Alrighty, we're running out of here. From here, what we're going to do is I'm grabbing all this forage on our way down this way. 
Uh, we are going to run to the general store. One thing I will do, though, is I will quickly eat this so that we have a little bit more energy in order for us to actually plant a couple of crops. And then the rest of it we will sell because we are going to buy our, our weight in kale. Um, the reason why we're buying our weight in kale in particular um, is simply because we get the most farming XP from kale. And it is a relatively fast growing crop. So it only takes six days for it to be completely done. So we're going to go ahead and clear out just a little bit of our farm here. So that we can kind of just like create a little area for all of our kale here. Okay, 15 spots. Which is totally fine. Just gonna water them here a little bit. And also clear that section there. Alrighty, and now we're gonna sleep. And we are going to hope that we get some rain days here. Uh, we did not, but that is totally okay. Skip this. Don't worry, we do want that. Because we are going to need a furnace here. It's going to smelt our copper ore here as quickly as possible. Our chicken is just going to go ahead and do its thing over there for a little while. We will end up running over that way as well because we need water. Unfortunately, the bad thing about the Meadowlands farm is that, here's an egg for us, um, is that the water is so far away from where the actual crops grow. However, it saves us a lot of time by doing this rather than having to... Uh, buy an entire coop to start off with. Other than that, other than the watering spot being so far away, I will say that the Meadowlands farm, this brand new farm type that we got with 1.6 is wonderful. We're going to hope that we can get some rain here. Fingers crossed. If not, we run back over, fill up our watering can. We got about like one more left here. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to continue to pet the chicken. Um, and also grab any eggs that we can because this also increases our farming level as well. On farming level one, we are going to quickly continue to chop down some trees and such because in order to make the actual mayo machine itself, we do need a little bit of wood. Um, we will also need to go and um, grab some more kale seeds. So we're going to do that super quick.
so um pierre shop opens up at nine so we're just waiting a little bit and then as soon as we get that farming level two then we'll be able to make our mail machine so you're just waiting out here uh for the next little bit of the run here we have all the materials that we need and if we don't then we can easily acquire them on our farm if anything it is just um stone here um with the two chickens that you get you get two kind of cute names so one of ours apparently our chicken that we did not get rid of is named chicky um and that is adorable to say the least um we can rename the chickens so i can go up to the chicken and rename it um, which is always a wonderful incentive idea. To be able to add it on. So you're just kind of waiting here for the next little bit of time for our... Our timer to hit 9 a.m. here. So we're going to move as fast as we can once we... get in there we go sell the kale rebuy kale and we leave and we leave we're gonna run home very quickly And make just a little bit more space for our extra seeds. One and water. And for the rest of this, we're just going to hope that we can get some rain going. Because uh, we do not have the time to uh, water, water them here. They do have one water under their belt, but by the time we go all the way over here, gather this, gather any extra eggs we got, and then head back. So the biggest thing in improving the time of this run is just based on rain days um, and whether or not you actually get rain days. Um, unfortunately, we have been unlucky and have not been getting any rain days, to say the least. Um, there is only one guaranteed rain day in spring. And that, of course, is uh, spring third, which we have already gone past. There are certain days that are like guaranteed rain days um, in other seasons, mainly summer. Uh, there's no rain in winter um, <laughs> and there's no guaranteed rain days in fall. But in summer, there are two guaranteed rain days. So that is what is very nice. However, the one season that we are stuck in here spring is not giving us any rain days so I'm gonna go and crop us some more water and then 
next couple of days, our kale should be done. And once we get through all of this kale, then we can... Then we will be officially done with this run. One more water day here. If we run out of water, then that's fine. We just need the level. And of course, on the day that everything is ready to be harvested. There we are. There's our mayo machine. And our mayo. We need a little bit more stone here. Just a tiny bit, nothing crazy. Uh, specifically one more stone. Just kidding, one more stone because I accidentally clicked on the wrong thing. There we go. Um, gonna need this. We're gonna go into our house. Apparently collecting all that kale as we go along. Go to bed because that is the fastest way for this to be finished. We are going to grab that mayonnaise and we are going to drink it. And after we've completed drinking it, time. There you are. Alrighty, safest time to assume for this run is around 15 minutes. Um, it can easily be done a lot faster as well too, but as the most basic concept, this is the mail percentage run, which is the newest run in Stardew Valley since 1.6. Um, thank you all so much for listening and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.